wanted to talk about this new Venus flytrap that I made, where I was striving to make cooler, more giant Venus flytraps, and this one is both. Uh, this one I want to name uh, Eye of Sauron. I've always been a big Lord of the Rings fan, in a dorky sort of way. What? Um, this one gets really super big on these long petioles, kind of similar to uh, King Henry, maybe even a little bit more spectacular. And King Henry, it's a great plant, but it stays a little bit orangey in the pictures. And this one, especially as summer progresses, gets this really dark red blotch in the middle, and that's why the Eye of Sauron, plus it's just like wicked size. Uh, we don't have too many of these for sale, but we're working on them in the future. Um, so don't bug Daniela too much. We don't have any for sale right now, but I just want to share it with you because it's pretty awesome. So I finished that video and then Daniela was like, you forgot the most important part. And I was like, ah. instead of doing the whole thing over again, we're just gonna tack this on. Um, maybe it's not the most important part, but for those of you that really love these things because they kill and eat things, um, a few years ago actually, this guy caught a baby lizard and it still makes me sad to this day. Don't feed your plants lizards or frogs or any other poor little thing like that. Maybe a mealworm, a meal in the name. But this one did catch a really, a little baby lizard really weirdly. Um, so it's kind of cool, kind of sad, but I want to share that with you guys too.